Hello there, Kerbal Arts, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Indian Odyssey. Sorry it's been a while, but I've been trying to do something, and this is it. Well, not entirely. Things will be changing. What you see seeing here is the return of our Minmus expedition with Bob Kermin. And I wanted him back because we can retrieve the science to build this. Our tactical Duner science mission. And this is going to go to Duner with the Bill, Dudeman and Ludwell, as you've probably seen in the earlier episodes, where they found that dome on the North Pole and they and it indicated that there was something on Dunar. Now they got some coordinates from it, and so that's where they're heading now, to investigate the mysterious... Well, whatever is there, we don't actually know. So I'm quite stoked for this mission. But this episode is going to be a bit different. It's not exactly going to continue the way with me commentating all over the missions, although I'm not sure about future episodes. We'll see how this goes anyway. Okay, right now we're on our way to Duner. We've actually thrusted through our, our transfer window, that's what you call it, yes. And then we're on our way. What Bill, Dudeman and Ludwell finds on Dooner is a total mystery. Even to me, because I haven't decided where I'm going to find it yet. No, I shouldn't have said that. Perhaps I'll spoil it. No, but there is going to be something epic. But, uh... Ah, uh, Mark, they want you at the KSC. Can't you see I'm commentating? Sorry, there's trouble at the KSC. What do you mean there's trouble at the KSC? Well, they're updating to 0 0.90. And we lost some things. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. Ah, welcome, Mark. Uh, hi, what's going on here, then? Well, with the update of Kerbal Space Program to 0 0.90, we've had to sell the facilities of the Kerbal Space Center. And unfortunately, due to the budget constraints, we are unable to employ anyone for the Kerbal Linear Odyssey Program. In other words, you're fired. What? Wait, wait, wait. I need this job. I enjoy doing this job. Please, please, there must be something I can do. Well, we do have an opening for a narrator, if you're interested. And so I took the job as a narrator. But unbeknown to the Kerbals on the ground, we had some Kerbals on the way to Duner. And with the downgraded tracking station, which did not have the ability to track courses beyond the curbing system, were unable to help them land the Duner rocket successfully. So they crash landed on the surface, they survived but only to be stranded on the surface of Duna. Now those at the Kerbal Space Center, headed up by Altri Kerman who saved them, will now strive to rebuild the Kerbal Space Program in an attempt to send a rescue mission to Duna to bring back Bill, Dudeman and Ludwell Kerman. Greetings, gentlemen. Well, let us convene the first meeting of the new Kerbalanian Odyssey episode in 0 0.90. Right, people, I know things have hit the periapsis, but we now have three Kerbals stranded on Duner, and we need to rescue them. So they need your best. Mandor, are we able to build a rocket to send a rescue operation to Duner? 
No, we haven't got the resources to buy the required rocket parts. We can't build them in our current facilities either. And we don't have the sufficient technological capabilities required to successfully undertake any kind of rescue mission. Nor could we track it with our current facilities. I would need some time to train our Kerbals for such an adventure. Hmm, it appears we have to start from scratch. Okay guys, how would we go about building a rescue craft to send to Juna? First, we need to research our current rocket capabilities. With that, we can build bigger, more powerful rockets. I will have to train new recruits. We need at least a pilot, a scientist, and an engineer. At the moment, my guys can't even get out of the capsule. We need to collect science. I can turn that science into numbers. And with those numbers, research and design new parts. We will have to plan some missions to carry out research and testing. Altre, we can't build anything. We don't have the money. I think I have an idea to get some companies on board that will help us with funding. Okay guys, we know what we have to do and I don't have to remind you that Bill, Dudeman and Ludwell are relying on us. They have enough resources to last them until we can save them. So the clock is ticking. Let's get to work. Okay, Jeb is aboard. Check communications. Communications check. Do you read me, Jeb? Loud and clear. Just waiting for launch. You'll have time for snacking when you get back, Jeb. Lunch? Very funny, Destin. Deal transfer is complete. Okay, let's go through the checklist. Control setup. Check. Telemetry. Check. Staging. Check. The cool and impossible camera angle. Check. We are go for launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Launch! Thrusting up! Haha! <laughs> Gravity, you have no hold over me! Congratulations, guys! We have launched our first rocket in 0.90. Don't you get the feeling we've already done this before? Nah, it's just deja vu. You have reached a speed of 190 meters per second at an altitude of 2,000 meters. Engine cut off in 3, 2, 1, mark. Okay, Jeb, time to do a crew report. Okay, crew report. Let's see, we've got questions here. What is your status? Well, my breakfast is trying to escape. How do you feel? I have nerves in my skin which send signals to my brain. Visual observations. Emerge this light has just gone faulty. It's flashing. I'm sure that's our sight test questions. Shh. We've been trying to get him to do it for months. Hope you're bringing something back for the R&D, guys. Uh, how about a stick of rock? No, Sheldon's still mad at you. For the last time you brought Put Sweet in his lab, he's still cleaning it up. You are now at 6,000 meters. You go to deploy the parachute. Parachute deployed. Confirmed parachute deployed in drag configuration, and your speed is decreasing. I am approaching 500 meters now. We confirm good shoot. Your speed is now down to 7 meters per second. Hold tight, Jeb. It's going to be a bumpy landing. And we have touched down. Come in, Jeb. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just learned the impact tolerance of my seat. Great job, Jeb. Mission complete. You are clear to leave the rocket. Jebranimo! Out! Okay, guys, we need some kind of device to catch you and place you on the ground gently. You know, like the arcade machines. You'll have to take that up with Sheldon. Hmm, that went better than expected. The rocket didn't even explode. What? Ah, well, just another day in the office. Hello guys and welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed your holiday, but it's now back down to business to destroy the Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, better. Our latest attempt to cripple the Kerbal Space Program by updating to 0.90 has failed. I want to know how. Um, well, our sources say they started right back up because their new administrator, Altre, secured them funding to start again. What do we do now, boss? 
Hmm, we must initiate plan 1586. 1586? You mean we have to gather three kerbals and dance naked around the launch pad? No, no, no! What's the one where we sabotage one of their rockets? Oh, you mean 1585? Infiltrate and sabotage one of their rockets? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Ooh, it's lunchtime. Let's grab a snack first. Hi guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask if you liked this video. You did like that video, so click that like button. No, no, no guys. We don't tell them they liked the video, we ask them if they liked the video. Oh. So they liked the video. <sighs> he is trying to say, if you did like this video, then click that like button. Also, we would like to ask you your advice on how we can improve this series. If you have any suggestions, leave them below or contact me on Twitter or Google+. I'm also on the Kerbal Space Program forum as Orbator. And if it is a storyline suggestion, don't forget Kerbals are brilliant and cool and technically superior to us. Yeah! yeah. But they are also very derpy. What? Also, as a warning, this won't be a weekly thing at the moment due to work, life, etc. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, like and comment if you want more of this series and we will see you next time. See you, see you next, next time. time.